another another win at the weekend, a dominant performance, and the first time you guys have had back-to-back -back wins um, in a year. Do you think uh, things are starting to, to click? Well, obviously it was nice to get rid of that uh, start, or you know, no way getting back-to-back -back wins for a year. Uh, we try and get rid of that as, as soon as possible. We actually did that in pre-season games, but obviously competitive games are what matter the most, and we've done that. We've done that now, and we've got an opportunity uh, to build on that, and that's exactly what we want to do. Uh, we know tomorrow's game will be a difficult game, but uh, yeah, we we're pleased with the, the performance and the result against Edinburgh. Going into it, expecting a really, really difficult game. They were off the back of a really good win against Aloha. Uh, you know, winning 4 2 away from home, you would take that all day going to Aloha. So we anticipated a difficult game, but on the day, I thought we, we rose to the challenge and took the game by the scruff of the neck. And, and we're very dominant and a lot of good individual performance and, and, and as a team. And uh, again, the lads coming off the bench made an impact as well, which is always pleasing. You know, it's great for the guys that start the games and put in the performance that probably made it that bit more uh, a good time for it to bring the, you know, the subs on when they were, were in a comfortable position in the game. And then just to go with the fresh legs and different type of player coming on, uh, making all, all the difference just to, you know, put the icing on the cake, so to speak. And you talked about how pleased you were with the performance. Um, that's two games, six goals, and dominated both games. Um, is this, uh, you know, the result of the hard work in the training pitch and what you and Paul are trying to instill in the team coming into coming into its kind of shape? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. All the hard work that the players have put in, the, the hours that we put in uh, on, the, on the training pitch, on the video analysis, looking at going over our games, trying to make sure we, we're improving all the time. That's the, the general idea of it. So we're not making the same mistakes continuously. Uh, individually looking to get better and as a team looking to get better. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, some of it comes down to who's available as well within the squad with the injuries and what have you and having to make changes and people being ready to, you know, step onto the plate, as we said last week. You know, it's an, an opportunity, you know, a couple of doors closed last, you know, Friday into the Saturday and then a couple of doors open for other players to come in and that's exactly what happened. So we've been using the squad that we've got and really pleased about that. And as we've said, the, the subs that have came on have made an impact uh, in the last couple of weeks as well. Yeah, so all the hard work, all the hard work that the players have put in, you know, yeah, we do, we do work hard and, and it is bearing fruit now. But we can't get carried away, you know, we're in no, no position to get carried away. We've got to go out tomorrow in this game, which will be a difficult game. And try and improve on on last week. You must have been uh, happy with young Pierce Carroll's um, impact last Saturday. Um, subbed on in the eighth minute for his first competitive match, and then two minutes later he, he provides an assist for Rumarn's first competitive goal of his career. Um, so, you know, how good is it for you guys that you've got players on the bench who can come on and, and make an impact like that? Because I know. The last few weeks you've had a lot of kind of injury worries and, and, and you've kind of gone for that to having a, a bit of a, a selection headache now. Well, I'm hoping the selection headache will get bigger because I've got a lot of players to come back, you know. Uh, certainly had a headache when last Friday in training when Big Ryan pulled out, you know, and probably had his best game, best game of this season for sure, uh, in, in the game against Peter Head and then he pulls out on the Friday and then, you know, Stevie Harrington on the Saturday morning finding he wasn't going to be available. So, yeah, we've had a, we've no other problems to seek. But coming back on to Pierce, so when Marcel and Paul came in, we uh, recruitment, trying to get the players in, but also then planning pre season. And we knew we were going to be a little short in numbers. So we asked uh, the guys behind the scenes uh, if we could get some of the under 18s to come in and train with us. And Pierce was one of them. And, I've kind of like said that there's things that he needs to get better. It needs to become, you know, more athletic, which will come with being in full time. Uh, but there's absolutely just hits you in the face immediately. The composure he's got in the ball. You know, he's a left-footed player, as everyone can see for last week. He's so composed on the ball, and he's got a great range of pass, and he's got great vision and awareness. A lot of great qualities there, and in a very very short period of time, everyone who stayed right to the very end of the game would see that. Uh, it was sticking out like a sore thumb. So, as I said, uh, he has only just turned 16. He's got plenty of time on his side. 
we thought it was a good opportunity for him to go on. It's not like the game was completely done and dusted because, you know, there was a German game at the weekend where you know, there was three goals scored in the last couple of minutes, so it wasn't like the game was absolutely done and dusted. You know, there was a little bit of risk, but we also knew that Pierce would go on, he would get, he would put his foot in the ball, and he would make passes and he would calm us down. But he actually went better in that, and he actually recognised there was space in behind their defence. Rumaran had peeled off and made a great run. Uh, and the ball was inch perfect and he made it look very simple, Romarin with his pace getting away from the, the defender and then slotting away in the corner and you know to repeat it you know just minutes later by putting the same type of ball over the defence and at the same area uh, Romarin not scoring this, this time but when the ball was rebounded he managed to get the ball back across the face of the goal for, for Callum who embarrassingly missed from quite close range uh, so you know as you say within a short period of time and we did a little uh, question and answer, uh, myself and Paul, and I mentioned that night uh, about Pierce Carroll and the fans would, would, would love him when they see him. Uh, he's, they've actually got a glimpse of him a little bit earlier than I would have, you know, would have thought because he's just, he's just turned 16. But age is not really a barrier, to be honest. You know, if, if players are good enough then and they're physically ready and mentally ready, then you know we can put them in. And as I said a little bit earlier, probably physically, you know, he's not quite there yet. He's got a wee bit to go, uh, a little bit of time to go with regards to that to get a bit stronger and a little bit quicker and a little bit, you know, he wouldn't be able to last uh, any length of time in a, in a, in a first team game. Uh, but he's getting there, he's getting there, but you can see the ability he's got and we hope that's, that's going to be, uh, you know, one for the future uh, and not in the distant future. But not immediately either. He's, he's, he's got the ability. We just need to try and, you know, bleed him in at the right time. And going back to Rumarn, um, he looks to, to be quite a confident player. Um, seems to back himself. I know his um, post-match interview after the FC Edinburgh game, he was saying, you know, if he if he gets another if he gets another appearance, he's he's, he's going to look to score two or three more goals. Um, is he in contention for the for the game tomorrow? Because um, I know obviously Gary Oliver um, got his first goal and then. He got back-to-back -back goals. He scored against Edinburgh as well. So, um, looks like your your strikers are off and running for the season. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Romarin is no shy. Yeah, he's no not an unconfident boy at all. No, he's very confident. Yeah, yeah. He was saying something similar to that when I was putting him on something about you know he was going to do something rather. And I said, well, go and show me then. And you know he actually did. So fair play to him. You know, it's one thing saying it, but if you can back it up, you know that's the other thing. And he certainly did. And yes, of course, he's put his cell in the frame. Absolutely. Uh, Ola was similar, you know, in the last two games Ola's went on, he's had two cracking shots that the goalkeeper in both games have made saves from and so, yeah, the squad is uh, building uh, and these guys have came on in games, made an impact as you mentioned, Gary Oliver there as well, yeah goals back-to-back uh, -back goals uh, do his confidence a world of good, absolutely uh, and played a, in a deeper position uh, against uh, Edinburgh, so yeah we're pleased that these guys are getting goals and we now look like a team that we, when we go forward look like we're going to score virtually every time, you know, uh, loads of chances. Again, Callum had a number, delighted that he got the, the, the first goal on Saturday, it's always important, but he was in the, you know, created a number of opportunities that he could have got more, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's building up very nicely, uh, once we, we've got, obviously, Ryan's not back yet, uh, Stevie Hetherington, uh, returned to training yesterday, that's Thursday and today. So again, he's back in the frame as well. And uh, Liam Henderson, we mentioned last Saturday after the game that we were hoping to get back into training on Thursday. We well, actually got back in on Tuesday, so he's trained Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's good, that's good. It puts him in contention as well. It's good to get him back. So we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. You know, a couple of bits for last week. Still a good few to go, but we're, we're getting there, and when we get them all together, uh, then you know we're going to have a real strong squad. And just looking ahead to tomorrow, um, a, a tough game potentially. Queen of the South, who are looking to, to go straight back up this season, um, they've picked up a, a couple of points since their kind of disastrous first game of the season. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on tomorrow's game? Yeah, well, I think you're right. Like anyone who comes down from the championship, they'll be wanting to go straight back up. But as folk have found, it's not as easy as that. You know, it's difficult. And so we anticipate, you know, a hard game, hard game. 
Willie Gibson and Grant Murray, two really good guys, two great football guys, and they try to play football. They're an attacking team, you know, I can see this game being very end to end, and it's going to be whoever is going to come in front of the goal tomorrow who will, who will go away with the points. But I think it'll be a very entertaining game for the fans. We've got to make sure we come out on top. Uh, we've got to try and take some control in the game. We don't want it just to be like, you attack, we attack, you attack, we attack, and we'll see who, who wins the game, you know? We want to be able to, we want to be able to attack, of course. We want to take some control in the game as well. Um, and, and of course, they're going to make that difficult for us, and that, that's the challenge. So, yeah, yeah, we, uh, we we respect every opposition. We've done our homework on, on Queen's, and uh, yeah, they managed to win last week up at Peterhead to get their, their sort of first win. Uh, and no doubt that we want to come here and, and get back-to-back -back wins. We want to try and make it three wins in a row and kick on. Right, John, thank you very much and all the best for tomorrow. Thanks, Adam.